uh, we are students from National Taiwan University, and I'm Tony Wu. I'm from the department of Double E, and uh, other three members are from uh, CSIE. And uh, our advisor of this challenge is Professor Hong Yi Li. And the title of, of our work is uh, Fusion and Concatenation are all you need. Uh, by the way, we're junior in, in, in college. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is our online. First, we talk about the introduction. So uh, our objective is to uh, focus on the collaboration of multiple models uh, rather than the development of one single huge uh, SSL model. So we want to see if fusion several models can bring about promising results, just like uh, in sample learning in the traditional uh, machine learning. If so, then how to fuse might become a worth discussing topic in the future. So we have totally 11 submissions. Um, so as to, we have a lot of submissions. So as to compare the contribution and influence of each operation or model. And uh, we have totally three kinds of models and there are Hubers and wave to vec two. These two models are SSO huge models and creep is a smaller supervised pitch estimation model. And uh, methodology, we can easily come up with several basic yet powerful uh, techniques to fuse more than one model. For example, early fusion can be used for uh, intra-model uh, operation that can uh, get the multi-level features produced what, uh, by one model. In terms of intra-model operations, uh, concatenation and averaging, are two possible measures to fuse outputs of several models. And so we have, actually we have a lot of potential powerful uh, operations that we can apply, but uh, due to limited time, uh, we just talk about several basic, but traditional iconic operations in this challenge. Uh, maybe in the future, we will talk about more operations or even to develop our own operations. So we are facing the choice, um, which one to choose and why. <laughs> Later model or we have to use a model with early fusion, concatenation versus averaging. And we finally choose model with early fusion and models outputs concatenation. This decision is based on the experimental results which we'll be talked about later. So this turns out to be our uh, final model architecture and its submission name is CAT Fusion XWC. And we find that, so uh, the first operation is the averaging of each step of the model output. These blocks corresponds to each a uh, transformer block. So we just like fuse each uh, uh, level of features of each uh, model. And we have three models, Hubert, wave to vec 2 and the third model is creep. But direct, we find that direct concatenation will have some uh, problems, will have error in D case task. And we think this is probably due to destructed time stamp. If you just directly concatenate three features, then you will destruct the time information, the time sequence information uh, in the output feature. So uh, we turn to another method, which is more like the process of time align, like this one. This is the first feature, the T1. Uh, time stamp in Hubert, and this is the T1 time stamp in wave to vec, and this is the time stamp in creep. So this is the core information for the first time stamp T1. In terms of the experimental results, we first look at uh, whether or not to use early fusion. Oh, uh, by the way, there are a lot of methods to fuse 
for example, late fusion, but late fusion is not applicable in this competition because we have no control over the tested small MLP. So uh, the only fusion, available fusion is early fusion, yeah. So we find that uh, feature fusion is very, uh, is generally a good way at kinds of promote the, the performance of the Vadena model. So uh, this is the accuracy. The, this is the measure of each uh, task. And these are 18 different uh, subtests, downstream tests. And our models will have some problems in the uh, beehive state task. So we have no scores here, yeah. And we also, um, we also look at the concatenation versus averaging because these are two uh, 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 intermodal operations. And we found that averaging, though this kind of technique is widely, widely used in the traditional ML method, uh, it does not perform better than concatenation. So we choose to use concatenation finally. And there is also a worth, uh, a, a worth discussing point is that we have had the wave to vec two model. So is there any reason that we should use Hubert? Is there any reason that we should use multiple huge uh, SSL models? And we find that even uh, given that we have had the wave to vec two, you can still use Hubert and this will give you a lot of benefits. And I think the reason is that uh, Hubert and wave to vec two, they are, although they are both SSO, SSL models, they are trained, they are pre-trained in different ways. They are pre-trained such as uh, token prediction or the prediction of future friend. They are trained in different manners, different losses. So they will probably focus on different aspects of input audio. So yes, there's reason to use Hubert, given that you have had the uh, wave to vec two. And we are also uh, digging into different kinds of concatenation methods. And we have different, we have version two concatenation, but it's, uh, it's still in progress. And like this fusion cat XWC time, this is the V2 concatenation. It has a hyperparameter, but we haven't fine tuned it yet. So we use the default value to, uh, to, to to attend this competition. And the results shows that the V2 is slightly slightly worse than the original one. But I have to mention that we haven't fine tuned the hyperparameter used in this method. And we have a lot of more data uh, collected, but we have no time to, 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 to claim it because it, it needs a process of data mining, yeah. <laughs> So the conclusion, the first one is that feature fusion generally makes speech-based models perform better. And the second one is concatenation is generally better than average. And this third one is that <clears throat> we dig into the practic practical, practical use of the collaboration of multiple models. And we think that in the realm of representative uh, representation learning, uh, in modeling sampling is a good way that maybe you can use in practice. Fourth one, speech-based supervised learning models might perform good in other non-speech tasks. This is an interesting finding that our professors, uh, Hong Yili also taught me this concept. Maybe in the future, we will put more attention to this topic. And uh, more experiments and findings are expected to be presented as paper later in the future if everything goes well. So this is our presentations and thank you for your uh, attention. Thank you. <laughs>